हेलो एवरीवन व्हेन पेशेंट गेट्स रूटीन हेल्थ चेकअप डन देयर इज अ टेस्ट नोन एज होमोसिस्टिन लेवल्स एंड व्हेन द होमोसिस्टिन लेवल्स आर हाई पेशेंट विल गेट कंफ्यूज्ड कि इज इट अ रिस्क फॉर हार्ट डिजीज सम डॉक्टर सेज इग्नोर इट सम सेज यस दिस इज अ रिस्क ऑफ हार्ट अटैक सो व्हाट शुड बी डन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड so this is a classical example that uh, patient get a master health checkup done and in the uh, health checkup uh, homocysteine levels are high 18.91 the normal range is 3.7 to 13.9 and when patient read this uh, theory which is given below the interpretation of that test so this says ki this is an independent risk marker of <coughs> coronary or cerebrovascular uh, disease so what exactly is homocysteine level causes of high values relationship with the heart disease when to test when to treat and equally important when not to test and when not to treat let's understand why homocysteine creates confusion because uh, it is uh, uh, written in a bold letters in the health checkup that the levels are high and it is linked to heart attack and stroke and treatment is misunderstood marker versus causes let's understand what is homocysteine level so what exactly is the homocysteine homocysteine is a molecule which is produced from amino acid which is present in the proteins methionine and this comes from uh, milk egg pulses and meat and normally uh, this is uh, um, metabolized <coughs> uh, very fast cleared very quickly and problem occur when the clearance fails so methionine is the starting point so uh, it is used for methylation uh, reactions in the body like for uh, dna and it convert into homocysteine to exit pathway of homocysteine uh, first pathway is homocysteine is converted back into methionine uh, which is known as a methylation uh, uh, process uh, this is done by the help of uh, methyl tetrahydrofolate and uh, this is known as a remethylation so methyl group of folate uh, will be uh, taken up by the homocysteine to get convert into methionine and this reaction is catalyzed by uh, b12 methyl cobalamin so methionine is converted so this is the first route where folic acid is needed folate is needed and b12 is needed so their deficiency uh, will lead to the high level of the homocysteine because homocysteine will not be converted into uh, methionine the other pathway is with the help of pyridoxine that is b6 vitamin so b6 uh, help in the conversion of homocysteine into cystathione and then to cysteine so if b6 deficiency is present then the homocysteine level will be elevated so three vitamin deficiency leads to the elevation of homocysteine so the level increase mainly because the production is normal but the clearance is impaired and vitamin deficiency are common causes but there will be other causes besides the b12 deficiency folate deficiency and b6 deficiency chronic kidney disease so in chronic kidney disease the kidney functions are less therefore the homocysteine excretion through the kidney will be uh, reduced level will increase hypothyroidism hypothyroidism means the thyroid hormone deficiency is present and thyroid hormone is needed for methionine synthase enzyme so that enzyme will be less as a result methionine will be less formed and homocysteine levels increase excess of the alcohol intake uh, there are two reasons alcohol causes folic acid deficiency and b6 deficiency it uh, leads to the impaired absorption of uh, b6 from the intestine uh, so therefore alcohol can be the reason for high homocysteine level so if a patient of high homocysteine level is coming to us we should ask the history of thyroid disorders uh, kidney disease as well as the alcohol use 
uh, also we should ask whether patient is taking some medications these medications uh, reduces the folic acid levels like some anti epileptic medications or methotrexate methotrexate is used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis there will be some genetic uh, rare condition uh, in which uh, homocysteine urea is present and that is because of the deficiency of the enzyme which uh, convert the homocysteine into uh, the uh, uh, cysteine so that deficiency of the enzyme will lead to this uh, genetic uh, condition in this genetic condition there will be some uh, phenotypic manifestations like uh, marfan like features uh, lens dislocation can be there so with that we should suspect this uh, rare genetic uh, condition in indian population the most common cause of the high homocysteine level is vitamin b12 deficiency how high homocysteine level causes vascular injury it leads to high levels leads to endothelial irritation remember homocysteine is present in a normal value in a normal level uh, in all the human beings but if the level increase extra homocysteine will lead to endothelial irritation and that endothelial irritation can lead to oxidative stress on the blood vessels inflammation will occur and that inflammation will be the reason for atherosclerotic cardiovascular diseases like stroke heart disease or thrombus formation in the veins which we known as which we call it as a d vein thrombus so is it a heart risk factor if the levels are high so it is associated with heart disease but it is not a cause the direct link is not present lowering does not reduce the event so it means that it is not a cause so whenever there is a, some agent which is causing the disease if you remove that agent disease will not occur but here it is not uh, this uh, uh, co uh, cause relationship so when we reduce the homocysteine level so it does not reduce the uh, events like heart attack events or stroke events and it is never a treatment target ki we give the treatment and bring the homocysteine level within the normal range unlike ldl levels apolipoprotein b levels so this is not like that so what studies have showed that patient with the heart disease they have high level of the homocysteine this is just a association but when the homocysteine levels is lowered with the vitamins like b12 folic acid or b6 heart attack do not reduce stroke do not reduce and mortality does not change therefore guideline says that do not consider homocysteine as a treatable atherosclerotic cardiovascular risk factor ldl cholesterol treat apolipoprotein high treat blood pressure high blood pressure treated high diabetes treat but homocysteine levels not a treatment target so when should we get a test for homocysteine levels done so when there is a suspected b12 or folic acid deficiency patient has neuropathy suspected homocysteine urea or patient has stroke or thrombosis at young age recurrent pregnancy loss because of the thrombus formation there is a pregnancy loss so in this scenario we should get a homocysteine levels check done and when not to test uh, the homocysteine level just as a part of a routine health check so there is no use of getting it done as a routine health check up it will create more confusion uh, as a part of a master health package and to guide the statin dose no never it is not uh, used to test key whether we should increase the dose of statin or not so when to treat uh, when there is a proven vitamin deficiency whatever vitamin deficiency is there treat it if the levels are very high say more than 100 pregnancy indication if there is a recurrent uh, fetal loss and homocysteine levels are high then we should treat it equally important when not to treat solely to prevent heart attack or stroke no guidelines recommend this as a preventive measure and just because the numbers are high like numbers are 18 20 25 so we do not read the number myths let's remove the myths high homocysteine cause heart attack cause cause relationship is not there it's a marker not a cause lower homocysteine is equal to heart protection no number improve but outcome do not
everyone needs b12 for the heart health no only if there is a deficiency so this was all about the levels of homocysteine ki what causes high homocysteine level when to test and when not to test and when to treat high levels of homocysteine if you have any questions any doubt you can put in the comment section thank you